Um, good evening, everybody. It's May um, 9th, 2022. Um, it's our Town of Rhinebeck regular town board meeting. Would everybody please join me in the pledge? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, um, thanks. Um, I wanted to announce that um, I have COVID. I got COVID on Thursday. Uh, Thursday and Friday were really um, bad days. Uh, Saturday and Sunday a little easier and today I'm out of bed. I'm really grateful to be vaccinated and boosted. Um, and I want to urge everybody to consider that if you haven't. I also want to say that if you do get COVID and test positive, please, please, please remember to contact the County Department of Public Health. You could do that online and report that you have COVID. Um, I believe that the numbers uh, that are showing on the county's dashboard are not reflective of what's happening out there. Um, we've had cases for the first time in 26 months at town hall and it's it's um, really going around. So I urge everybody to be cautious and um, be vaccinated and get a booster. Um, we have no, um, we are not approving our prior minutes. Um, that'll be at our, our next meeting. Um, and um, I'm going to open two public hearings. We have a public hearing on a local law amending our town code chapter 125 zoning in the matter of revising section 125-47 solar energy systems to add regulations specifically permitting and regulating community solar as a new solar use in the town of Rhinebeck. We also have a public hearing opening for a local law amending regulations for the office research park ORP zoning district within the town code chapter 125 by adding a communications facility and tower use as a special use permit requiring site plan approval to section 125 attachment two and a district schedule of use regulations and regulations to clarify vehicular access requirements to parcels in the ORP by adding language to section 125 dash 15 in our zoning law um, districts, section 125 dash 90 and sections 125 dash 91. We will hold these public hearings open until June 13th. Um, but if anybody would like to speak, we're taking public comment. Would anybody like to offer a public comment on either local law? I, I have one concern, which I'm going to talk to our planner about, which is that it looks like the only real practical place for a community solar installation would be the ORP. Uh, and so I'm in a conversation with uh, Jim Levy about trying to trying to either verify that or correct it, depending on what the situation is. Well, um, not according to the maps that Central Hudson gave us. The, I think the most viable places are where the three-phase power exists. Um, and we've been over that with Victor Narkai and our planner. Josh, were you on that with me as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, is there... There are several places in town that... Um... Uh, the, the issue was coverage. Oh. Uh, uh, in other words, what percentage of the property could be covered by uh, solar panels? Right. But isn't, that, isn't that tracking with um, overall coverage per zoning area? Yeah, About I understand. But the, at the moment, for, for, it looks like it's either 20 or 25 percent, which is not adequate. All right. Well, this is a public hearing, but I think you're saying that you see a disparate disparity in our public law that we need to clarify what coverage is. Exactly. Is it is it the total size of the um, of the sorry um, 
I have COVID, so I'm not thinking clearly. Of the panels, or is it the poles? It's the it's the it's the area of a, of a lot that's covered or. By, yes, by I, I understand power. that. But if I remember correctly, in our original solar law, we had the same disparity where we weren't sure what coverage referred to. Right. What, and I and I think we do have to clarify that. But this is a public hearing. So. Yeah. So uh, so I but that I just wanted to serve sort of notice that I wanted to get that clarified. That's all. Okay. I'm not um, making any suggestions. So it's not capacity. It's not capacity. It's coverage. coverage. Yes. Okay. Which which equates to capacity. So. Well, I'm aware. So it's coverage, not capacity. Yeah. So we need to define what coverage is. Or or clarify it anyway. Okay. All right. Well, the we're we're holding these public hearings open uh, for both proposed local laws until at least uh, the 13th of June when we're hoping to hear back from our planning board and the county um, department of planning. And we may extend it beyond that if, if we haven't had comment. Um, so we'll continue with the meeting and if anyone wants to speak, please raise your hand. Um, I'm going to, uh, I know that, that Rosie, um, also known as Sarah Rosenthal is here um, under discussion items. Um, Rosie is the president of Culture Connect. Thank you for coming, Rosie. And you're here to request um, the um, help of the town and the town yard, uh, front hall, front yard for, your, for our Juneteenth celebration. Would you like to speak? You need to unmute. Yes, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, and thank you all for taking a moment to hear from me. Last year, I came and requested in, uh, that we put a large scale art project created by the Buckley Middle School seventh graders on the Town Hall lawn. And you all generously said yes without having even seen it completed yet. And I think it was quite a success and a really beautiful project the school has now housed for the year. And we'd love to bring it back because why not? It was great. And um, so we'd love to put it on the lawn again for, and this time we can do it for a week leading up to Juneteenth because last year the kids created it on Friday. So you all helped us rush it over to the lawn and be up for the weekend. So if that's all right with everyone, I would love to um, get the help again of, and I'll say it wrong, but like your the the town Bobby, Bobby. of Bobby um, to move the, the town sign room. over so it's set up nice and safe and um, to the code that you all would like. Uh, and Sarah, when do you want that set up? Just give me a- We would love to do that. Let's say we could put it there on Monday. I'm just looking at the calendar. So I make sure I say the right days. Um, why don't we say Monday, the June 13th okay. through Monday, June 20th. Okay, thank you. Yep, I'll, um, I'll tell you. We'll, we'll connect uh, you and Ed and, and Ed will liaise with Bobby. And it's so it is the same piece as last year? It's the same piece as last year. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I, I was proud and happy to have it there. So thank you for doing it. Um, just checking with the board, everyone is, you know, hands up. Good. I was agreeing. So, Th thank you, Rosie, and thanks for, you know for doing this for the town. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. All right, okay. Ed, we'll be in touch, and you all have a good night. Thank I hope you. you feel, I hope you stay feeling okay, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thanks all. Bye. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to go to resolutions. Resolutions. Uh, 2022 116 approved sale of cemetery benches. May I have a motion? Make a motion. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. Um, is there any discussion or any questions? I guess my question is what, what are we going to replace them with, Ed? I think we have some rules there already, don't we? And they're, they're just going to phase those in and phase you up. They're going to get those out and maybe do it again, like with newer, upgrade a little bit. Okay. Um, anybody have any questions or concerns? Um, These are used. I mean, no. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for it. Sorry. They're all used. Here. They're concrete with the slats. 
Let me check with Sarah, um, I mean, with Suzanne, what you said, Elizabeth. I will check with her about that. What's going to replace? Yes. Okay, good. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Um, the motion passes unanimously. Hi, Nina. Um, resolution 2022-117, approving replacement of pool equipment. May I have a motion? A motion. Ed, may I have a second? Second. Thank you, Josh. Are there any uh, questions or any uh, discussion? No. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, resolution 2022-118, approving town hall exterior painting. I'll make a motion. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ed. Um, are there any questions or comments? Hmm. Happy it's finally getting done. And thanks to the staff at Town Hall for wrangling this and, and finding a, a painter with, uh, who came in with a good price. It's for our shutters and trim, and uh, we'll be rebuilding the trim around the doors as well. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, passes unanimously. Thank you. I need a motion for um, resolution 2022-119 authorizing to advertise to hire a payroll clerk. May I have a motion? Thank you, Thank you Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Josh. Um, any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Um, I'd like to make a motion for resolution 2022-120 and um, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Um, okay, I'd like to make a motion for resolution 2022-120 appointing Steve Schwartz to the Citizen Zoning and Comprehensive Plan Advisory Committee. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Josh. Um, are there any questions or comments? We're full, we're full now, right? We're full now. When we approve, Steve will be full, and Steve represents Pell's Road, which is the north. Wonderful. Um, so I think we're, we're covered. And I want to thank Steve Schwartz for um, volunteering. Um, I know he has a busy schedule. So all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Okay, I, I would like to make a motion for resolution 2022-121 and amend it to include appointing Melanie Moore as a liaison to the Citizen Zoning and Comprehensive Plan Advisory Committee on behalf of the Planning Board and Tim Economopoli on behalf of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, may I have a second? Thanks, Josh. Are there any uh, questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Um, I need a motion for resolution 2022-122 to approve Duchess Shepherd LLC tax certiary. May I have a motion? Motion. Thank you, Chauncey. May I have a second? Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Are there any questions or um, discussion? Um, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. It's unanimously. Um, I uh, need a motion for resolution 2022-123 to authorize yoga in the park with Mia. Motion. Thank you. Oh. Was that Chauncey? Alan. Oh, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ed. Um, any discussion or, or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passes unanimously. And it's great to see we're getting out more outdoor recreation activities yeah. for adults. So this will be fantastic. Um, I need a motion for resolution 2022-124 to approve recreation hires. So moved. Thank you, Alan. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ed. 
Are there any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. Um, I need a motion for resolution 2022-125 to approve our rec park concession stand agreement. Motion. Thank you, Ed and Josh, I'll take you as a second. Okay, thanks. Are there any um, questions or comments? This is the same as before the pandemic. So I think, I don't know why it wouldn't be the same, but it's the same thing. Yes. Is that a question or a- um, No, it's more of like a statement that, you know, I don't think anything has changed. So it's the same agreement from the board. Okay. Um, I think the only thing that's changed is that we have made the necessary um, renovations and fixes to the concession stand and we have gotten board of health approval from the county. Yeah. Great, um, happy to be able to have this this year. Any further? Also the menu's quite good, so. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Disco fries. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good food and vegan option. So it's actually you know, it's thoughtful. Um, um, any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Um, a motion for resolution 2022-126, please, to approve Pool Restroom Cleaning Company. Make a motion. Thank you, Ed. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alan. Or is there any um, questions or any discussion? This is the same vendor as we had last time. It worked out well. Yes. Great. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. I need a motion for 2022-127 to approve the sale of the transfer station containers. Make a motion. Thank you, Ed. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Chauncey. Um, how are we selling these? Uh, best offer, probably. Um, where are we going to advertise? Uh, on our website. We should probably do something else as well. Yeah, I think we, have, we may have some offers coming in now, so. Okay, we'll yeah. let Bob know about it. And, yeah, thank um, you. Okay. Um, is there, are there any further questions or concerns? Are we replacing them with something? No, 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 we don't need them anymore. They've been sitting there and nobody's using them. They're, they're totally worthless right now. We can't, we don't need them for anything. These were the, okay, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, there's that, there's that uh, service that, or the exchange that Bob uses that, I can't remember the name of it at the moment. That's probably the place to do it. The um, online oh. sales place? Oh yeah, I'll ask Bob. Yeah. Auction place? Yeah, yeah. And make that. sure that you talk with Bob yeah, Lyon about it. I will. Thank you. Excuse me, everybody. Um, have we voted on this? We can uh, now. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, any opposed? It passes unanimously. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, I will make a motion for um, resolution 2022-128 for our preliminary account payable abstract. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Josh. Are there any questions or concerns? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Um, Ed, I know you have a new piece of business. Would you yeah. like to bring it up or do you want me to? You can bring it up if you have it. You have it? Um, I do have it. Um, okay. Let me see, just um, if you could bear with me, please. Um, we have a... Um, Resolution, I guess it would be 2022-129 yep. to approve um, a bid from Adams Fence Company mm -hmm. to yep. replace the fence at the, I'm sorry. Um, the remaining fence, yeah. The remaining fence, you have to tell me. This completion of the remaining fence around the rec park that presently needs to be replaced. The tennis courts. Yes, thanks, Corey. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was uh, Adams fencing is the lowest bid at yeah. um, 
I'm sorry, I'm struggling here at 13,500 with eight gauge fabric. So right, the, it's really the better fabric too. Yes, um, it's better than, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so we are um, resolution 2022-129 to award the fencing job to complete at our tennis courts to Adam Fencing Company, Adams Fairacre Farms Fencing Company at a price of $13,500 complete. May I have a motion? Make a motion. Thanks, may I have a second? Second. Alan, thank you. Okay. Uh, is there uh, any discussion or further questions? Sorry, I sort of um, bungled my way through that. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Passes unanimously. And gosh, the new fencing looks good down there. So it'll be great to get it. It does indeed. Yeah, it really does. Thank you, Ed. Alan, did you want to say something? Yeah, I have some new business. OK. Yeah, sure. OK, so. The computer that uh, the secretary for the cemetery uses has bitten the dust. And so I just got a quote for a new uh, desktop and display. The display is also no good anymore. So I'm proposing that we spend up to $1,600 to replace the desktop computer at the cemetery. Uh, and uh, an additional $8.50 per month for the uh, subscription to the Microsoft Office applications. And we'll send the old computer to the Smithsonian. Where's the money coming from? It's coming from contingency funds. I spoke to, uh, to um, Shelly. 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 Thank you, Shelly. Shelly. You're, you're as fuzzy as I am. Maybe the Smithsonian doesn't give us any money. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, they won't give us anything. All right. So this is resolution 2022-130 um, to replace the uh, clerk, secretary, uh, or uh, administrator to the cemetery's desktop computer for sixteen hundred dollars with an eight dollar and 50 cent monthly um, service fee for the software package for, for Microsoft Office for this for the software package to be paid out of the cemetery contingency fund line. Yep. Uh, any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Passes unanimously. Um, unless any are opposed, which I, I don't think so. Great. Thanks. Any other? Um, new business. Okay, um, I just want to remind people that we still have not. Um, <coughs> I'm still taking comments on ARPA, our ARPA funding use. It's five hundred and thirty-six thousand five hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. The town board is. Um, considering our plan is to use it to renovate and expand office space and town hall, whether renovating the big room or building on, um, we don't know yet. We've received two other comments and we're still taking comments from the public. Um, you're welcome to contact us or speak up at a meeting. Um, also, um, the Hamlet, our workforce housing project has been sent to both the planning board and the historic preservation committee and the county, uh, Dutchess County Department of Planning for comments. Um, it's on our website. I wish everyone would look at it and, um, you know, give us their, their comments. I understand that there was a pre submission meeting with the developers and our planning board where it was said that they didn't think they would get access for egress on to um, Ryan Cliff Road. And um, I don't believe that's true. And I certainly don't want to see all of the traffic for this coming in on Astor Drive, which is a local town road and very small and would mean that everyone accessing the hamlet would have to go through or by Wells Manor and on to 
Aster Road. So I just wanted to alert you all of this and tell you my concerns and see if you were in solidarity with me that we insist that the developer go back to the Department of Planning and say that you have got to have egress from Rhinecliff Road for this project. Yeah. Great. Cha Chauncey? Absolutely. Ed? Yes. Alan? Yes. Yes. I, I think it's unacceptable. It's critical. Yeah, I mean, it's unacceptable. Uh, I see that Victor Britton has a hand raised. Uh, do you have a comment? Yeah, it was just in regard to the uh, to the rescue plan funds. Um, and I believe um, my wife and I might have shared this with Chauncey, I can't recall. But um, if there's any way that that some of the funds could be diverted to say seniors that are on income, you know, so so property owners, in terms of some sort of short term tax reduction to help with just the past few years and to help with uh, uh, the utility costs going up. Because um, I think that's really, you know, and it doesn't have to be even seniors, it could be um, just some income criteria that we use for say enhanced star or something like that. You might have some data. We don't have, uh, not every, the, the problem with that, and thank you, Victor, is that we don't have um, data on everyone who's, uh, who's in need. And a lot of people who are in need also may not own homes, but we hear, I hear you. Does anyone want to react to that? The assessors don't have data for that is what I'm would we create, create application? Like it just process based seems difficult. How would as much we... as I would like to. Seems complicated. I understand. I'm just concerned that um, I'm, I'm afraid that over the next few years that both the, the town and the village are going to be taking on new expenses. And when this rescue money is gone, I just worry about the tax burden increasing on people at risk. Yeah. So thank you for giving it consideration. Yeah, we, I, I share your concern. I, certainly. It's thank you. Thank you for your comment. Eleanor. One of the things I keep hearing is that there's a need for a place where young people can get together and, you know, that's not, that's covered and it's not out in the elements. And I was just wondering if some thought could be given to maybe coming up with something like a community center or something that might, you know, that might serve not just teens, but maybe seniors. I mean, maybe even the whole community, but depending on how much money would be available for a project like that. Uh, thank you. And I will say that thought has been given to it and it has been approved in the park master plan and the site for it is on the field across mm -hmm. from the library on um, Route 308. Yeah, but I know I that. I just was curious, is there any is there any timeline at all or is that a money issue? You know, what's the story on that? There's I no timeline, could... our timeline is Phase two, which is um, the playing fields, which we are uh, doing. And then this is phase three, so. I would also say we need to support the library. It's an incredible resource. And um, I think there's all sorts of things that could happen there. And there's a new vote for a new um, leader of the, I, I just think that the, the library could be a place for everything to happen or a lot of things to happen. And uh, I know that there's a, um, change of um, power going on. Executive director has resigned. Most of the staff has resigned. Um, so there seems to be some change going on there. Mm. But I, I agree, Josh. Thank you. Thank you, Eleanor. Um, there's one more item, which is I just wanted to alert everyone that we received um, a beautiful and very large document from our NRI National Natural Resource Inventory Committee that was um, spearheaded by Cornell and um, other folks. And it is a very meaty and large um, document with lots and lots and lots of information on the natural resources of the town and the village of Rhinebeck. Um, if it isn't on our website yet, it will be. And we will be looking to adopt this uh, either at our next meeting or the meeting after that. So I encourage everybody to look at it and um, consider it. Um, any 
thing else we're holding open our public hearing on the I have, I have a new item i almost forgot we're ready to do the planning outside the tennis courts i'll, I'll contact susie we have to, you know let's get let's get going with that we're ready uh yeah i thought she was going we gave her i don't know i'm gonna call her though all right uh, yeah it needed to be done before i think the end of june she said yes yes yeah, so i think i'm gonna get, get a ball all right yeah, yeah. We've okay. approved the money. We we've approved it. it right. We did that several several meetings ago. I want to make sure so we did that before the spring. Right. Yeah. Just what benches we buy? Nice benches. Nice comfy benches. Yeah. <laughs> um, any other comments or questions from anyone attending the meeting? Victor, Eleanor, thank you for your thoughts. Anybody else? Um, hearing nothing, I will make a uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Right. Good night. Right. And we'll see you at our next meeting. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Liz.